This is a battlefield with stick figures and ceramic hearts surrounded by gunfire and bullets made of insecurities. The earthquake's just enough to make us un unsteady and at the same time enough to never make us move. But I guess that was just our fear of falling. I was nine years old when I was first called a fat ass, which was weird to me because I always thought I was just a boy. She was 13 when her uncle molested her, which she never understood because she always thought being pretty meant something different. But the only thing we were ever taught about this was how to raise our hand before speaking because in a perfect world we're stuck this way. And stick figures aren't like the living. So let's pretend. Let's pretend that our hearts are not slowly breaking from every lie we told ourselves to protect us from our own insecurities and keep from looking down another's barrel. Even when we knew that the things we were told were never to kill us, they were to make us want to die. We reached out for equality, and now it looks like we're holding hands, because what seems like shattered hearts feels a lot like humanity. They pulled us awkward because of the way our knotted hands clung to each other like we were lifeless figurines. The truth was we needed each other not to survive, but to feel alive, and if that meant we were hot glued together for eternity, that was okay, because to us, love, love never had to be presentable. We sealed our fractured hearts and pretended like we were worth something, like we were human beings. We walked to find others caught in what felt like a noose slowly tightening around the innocence of forgotten hope and chose to raise our hands and ask, who gave you the right? We were no longer millions of shards of ceramic hearts made from the pain of our past. We were now millions of hands joined together. You can try to knock our fragile being down, but remember, we're holding hands, so if we fall, the whole world falls with us. A dreamer's postmortem.